What's up everybody? Yesterday, I asked you all to design a hero section based on the tutorial that we had, and we had some good entries. So today, we're gonna be taking a look at some of these and I will be refactoring them as well, so that hopefully, those of you who are making these same typical UI design mistakes can learn from it. All right, so tomorrow, we're gonna be doing card design with a brand new challenge as well, so make sure you're following along with this 30-day series, and here's the playlist and all that crap. Make sure to subscribe, all right, well, let's get started. All right, everybody, here is one of the entries. These really aren't in any particular order, um, so just don't pay attention to that. Um, but this is actually a pretty solid design. Uh, it's just a two column approach where we have the little graphic, the asset on the left, and then the type on the right. Now, the only thing I would change about this is probably the get drum sith button. Um, if I zoom up, you can see that there's gradient in the actual button background and also the yellow text. I don't like to mix gradients quite that much. So here's the change I decided to make. First, I moved everything down just a bit to get things more uh, vertically aligned to the center. And then also just changed to get drum synth uh, to this same background color, um, the solid yellow. Um, you could also make this white and it would be just fine. But overall, very solid, good grouping here. Everything's good. Now here's another one. Now the one thing that I wanted to change about this or a couple things is first the Headline, we can see the headline has um, what looks to be extended letter spacing, and I'm not a fan of extended letter spacing for anything more than just one word, like a tag. Um, now, here's the thing, with that particular font, the letter spacing by default is, is large like this. So I decided to bring that together, as you saw. So here's the previous, and then here's the adjusted right there. And then the call to action doesn't really stand out too, too well, uh, where it says get drum sith, and that's because the button background's white, and it's on a very light color background. So to improve that, I just made it black with white text, and that way it's, it stands out so much better if we look at the difference between both of these. Overall, pretty solid. I like this, uh, how this, this, you know, you have this arch in the back. Here's another one. And this time, the subheadline really is a bit too small. I mean, it, it's there's a lot of good visual hierarchy, but there might be just a little bit too much in this context, uh, where the subheadline is really kind of too much of an afterthought. So here's what I've done: I decided just to make that 100% black to increase the contrast. So it goes from this to this. And then also the Get Drum Sith button, I think that needs to be a little bit more meaty. So I decided to make it just overall you know, larger. I left the uh, gradient on, the gradient's on this, this panel background, and that's fine too. Very simple. All right, now here's a, another one that really tried to take a more unique approach, which is cool and all, but I think a couple things need to be fixed. So first of all, um, the one thing I don't like is this, this little card. Now, typically, if I'm gonna use a card design, I'm gonna have more than one element, like a block of text. It just makes it feel too blocky otherwise. Also, there's unequal white, white space from the top compared to the left and right. And so it kind of throws it off. So here's what I would do instead. Break out of the box, like this, all right? I think that's a much better approach than this right here. Now, additionally, we have the, uh, the call to action, which you know, tucking it up here like this in the actual headline makes it sort of get lost. So what I would do instead, and this is kind of a drastic re like a redesign, is this. I would just take that, get it away from the headline so that the headline can stand on its own, and then just put get drum sith right here in the middle. And to make sure it has good separation, I added a big, large kind of like an outer glow, a black outer glow, a drop shadow, basically. And I think that would work well. So here's the original, and then here's the change. All right, next up. This one is kind of what I would call discombobulated. <laughs> I'm so old, I use stupid terminology. Um, but yeah, things are just kind of scattered all around. And one thing that's not helping is the fact that the line height is pretty high on this. So you have a line here, a line here, and then this is mixed in and things are just kind of mixed up. So let's see what we can do to fix this. So the first change I've made is to move this down on its own. Um, and that kind of does cl clean things up a little bit, but it's we're still not done. 
The next change I would then make is to move this down so that everything is aligned on the same horizontal baseline, these two elements here, these type elements. And then the Get Drum Sith button is standing on its own. And then this element here is also standing on its own as well. Now the one final change I would make to this is the Get Drum Sith button because still this is really small type. It needs to be larger. And I feel like this button could stand out more so. So how would we do that? Well, like that. <laughs> Uh, this stands out a lot more than this, in my opinion. You can make the Get Drum Sith, uh, Synth button this color as well. So you can see there's a lot of subjective things that I'm doing that aren't necessarily wrong, right? So another one that I'll show you, again, this is a more traditional layout, the two-column approach. This is probably the most traditional that we've seen so far um, because we have the headline, all the stuff, the important stuff on the left column, which is typically what we see more so. Um, than the opposite. And so the, the first thing I wanna change is just bring this type together a little bit. Again, the letter spacing and make it a little bit uh, larger. Then we gotta push this stuff down. And this time for the sub headline, I decided to, because they're using BBoss, so mixing these two fonts where there's a lot of type, like in the headline and sub headline, I wouldn't do. Um, I would use a much more, I guess you would say, toned down font, you know, just a simple uh, sans serif font like this one right here. And then the Get Drum Sith button is looking a little bit thin, so we want to beep that up just like that. And then we also want to increase the size of this element to match the height of uh, this column, just like that. Okay, so the original was right here, and then here is the updated version. So as you can see, just small changes to these designs. Um, I, I think going over the rest of them were pretty much similar, so I didn't include everybody's design. Um, so hopefully you all kind of see the mistakes that you were making. Um, whether or not you, I looked at your design or not, you probably are making some of these same mistakes. Um, but now we've gone through the nav, we've gone through a hero section, and tomorrow we're going to focus on card design. So you'll have another challenge. Um, and here going forward, we're not just going to keep on doing these same type of UI challenges that we're doing. We're going to do this for a few more days. Then we're going to switch things up and do other things like animation and prototyping and all that good stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Watch the whole playlist here of the full 30 days UI design series, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.